during pregnancy, as you know, I've said so many times, you want to be extra special careful. That's when you want to avoid mercury. But it doesn't mean that you avoid fish. And here again, we look at the risk-benefit ratio. We have all sorts of studies showing that certain fatty acids that are found in fish, the so-called omega-3 fats, like docosahexaenoic acid or eicosapentaenoic acid, mercifully abbreviated as DHA and EPA, when pregnant women consume this, they give birth to kids who eventually develop higher IQs. So eating fish during pregnancy is a good thing. But women who consume a lot of mercury when they're pregnant will have children with behavioral problems. So you balance them. You eat fish that are very likely not to contain mercury. Luckily, salmon is one of those. Salmon has virtually no mercury, so you can eat as much salmon as you want when you're pregnant. But you want to stay away from the really large predator fish. So no shark, no tilefish, no swordfish when you're pregnant. Do we have absolute evidence that pregnant women who eat swordfish give birth to babies with problems? No, we don't have absolute evidence, but you don't need the absolute evidence in this case because there are adequate replacements. So you eat salmon. Uh, tuna, depends which. Canned tuna is fine. The very large tuna, which are predator fish, are the ones that are high in mercury. Those are the ones that are usually used for sushi. Probably not a good idea during pregnancy. You know, eat your sushi before, eat your sushi after, not when you're pregnant. So again, it comes down to a risk-benefit an, uh, analysis. Eat the low mercury fish like salmon, stay away from the large predator fish, which may contain high amounts of mercury.